this video is a plus bonus for unical freshers unical diapers and unical aspirant because i'll be letting you all know all you need to get started as soon as you resume as a fresher a unical from payment of your hey guys you're welcome to my youtube channel if you come here for the first time my name is Ose, and i'm glad to have you here and to all my returning subscribers thank you all for coming back i really do appreciate and yes just to my 14 new subscribers thank you all for subscribing i really really do appreciate you guys thank you so much this video i'll be sharing with you all the documents you need to start your admission processes once you begin giving admission to study in any nigerian university of your choice so if you're aspiring to go into the university this video is highly recommended for you and also if you be giving admission to study in any nigerian university please end up to watch this video because i'll list out all the documents you need regardless of whether or not you're going to a federal university a state university and even private most times they are all the same documents and also if you're coming into the University of Calabar, let's say you're a Dambai to just gain admission to study in Unical, this video is highly recommended for you. And if you're aspiring to come to Unical as well, this video is highly, highly recommended for you guys. This video is a plus bonus for Unical freshers, Unical diapers, and Unical aspirant because I'll be letting you all know all you need to get started as soon as you resume as a fresher in Unical from payment of your acceptance fee your online screening your offline screening your registration of departmental courses um general courses and everything you the very first thing to do when you've been given admission is to accept that admission so if you applied into any university last year keep checking your jam caps to know your admission status because schools are currently giving out admission school like unical is currently giving out admission so continue checking your jam caps to know what to do next all right so the very first thing is to admit is to so the very first thing is to accept your admission right good moving on the second thing you should get started with is putting all your documents together from your birth certificate to your results whether it's work neco or gc your um your certificate of origin your wife certificate your attestation letters your jam admission letter your um unical admission letter or your unilag admission letter so i'm going to list all these documents in the description box so you could just go there after this video and write them out or you take a screenshot and start putting these documents together one after the other it is always advisable you put all your documents together before resuming especially your certificate of origin your um work certificate and sometimes your department might require you to come with your first living school certificate that is the um your very first school certificate got it from your primary school your certificate of origin is got it from um house of edo state oh my goodness yes i'm from edo state and during my time i don't live in edo state but i had to go to the nursing office in where i live to get my 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 certificate of origin and the place where i got it is known as house of edo state okay so please start putting all your documents together yes there are some documents you can come to school to put together but it is always advisable you put all your documents together and also make sure to have photocopies of all your documents at least four to five photocopies of each of your documents have photocopies of them have a dedicated file where you keep all your documents and never you give out your original document to anyone yes it is true that there might be a time that you will need to present your original document but do not forget to take them back back into your file and take it to your house or you take it to your hostel okay because it is for your upkeep not for anyone is that clear so now let's talk about unical acceptance fee online screening offline screening and so many other things you need to get started with as soon as you resume university of calabar yes congratulations to you if you'll be given admission already and to those yet to be admitted please you don't need to be feeling bad continue checking your jam caps if you need help there are people you can reach out to for help and keep praying to god to give you this admission all right congratulations in advance yeah yeah so now let's talk about unical acceptance fee 
The portal for the payment of Unicar acceptance fee is currently open, it's currently ongoing. So if you've been admitted, start putting your money together to pay your acceptance fee. There are two ways to go about it. It is either you pay online by going to their website, which I'm most likely to drop the link somewhere so that you can go there to pay yourself or you come to school to come and pay. It is either you pay online by yourself or you reach out to people to help you pay online with your card, that's your ATM card, or you come to Unical Microfinance Bank to pay. I would advise you to come to the bank to pay, but the truth is you can successfully pay online as well. I paid my a Unical Microfinance Bank. So all you just need to do is make sure you're at the bank as early as 7 a.m. because the crowd there is always something else. So come there early, be there by 7 and make your payment. All you need to do is to come with your 25,000 Naira cash, you fill a deposit slip and when it's your turn, you will be attended to. After that, the next thing you should do is take that slip to computer vendors. To computer vendors in school there are a whole lot of computer centers where you go to buy scratch card you make online payment and all of that so when you take that printout you'll be given at the bank there's a confirmation code there which they will impute into their system and it will show that okay you have successfully made this payment and then they will give you the original slip and you're going to pay a sum of two thousand naira or one five so after doing that all you need to do is take that original slip to the bursary's office the bursary's office is opposite to unical microfinance bank all he will do for you or all they will do for you is to get that your printout signed and you will make photocopies of it and keep it. So now let's talk about Unical screening. In Unical, we have what we call online screening and offline screening. Your online screening is when you present your documents online for the person in charge of admission in your department to approve it. So you need your certificate of origin, you need your birth certificate, your result and your attestation letters for this online screening so i'll be listing this document in the description box as well i will specify the ones you need for online screening okay it can be done for you by computer vendors all right do you have to pay yes you need to pay an amount i can't actually remember how much right now but it's not so much it should not be more than two thousand naira or to five right yes so now let's talk about offline screening Offline screening is you taking all your documents, yes, all your documents to your department. Yeah, every department has its own um its own um place where they do their admission screening. So there's an office dedicated for that where freshers come with their document for um screening. So this person in charge will go through your documents one after the other to be sure that you have this required document. I'm also going to specify the document that you need. You need your jam admission letter, your unicar admission letter, your certificate of origin, your um white certificate, your scratch card and a lot of other things. So I'm going to specify them in the description box for you so that it is easily accessible for you to present your jack file during your physical or your offline screening jack file can be gotten from your faculty a file cost 200 naira so you need th you need three of this jack file and all you need to do is make payment of 600 naira go to your faculty and get those files now let's talk about payment of dues and your school fees for dues Payment of dues varies from department to department. It doesn't matter if you guys are in the same faculty. Just because I'm in a um, law department does not mean I'm going to pay the same amount of dues with someone in mass communication. It varies. So now I'm not going to tell you that this is the amount you need to pay. It varies from department to department, from set to set. So all you need to do is watch out for the information board in your department. It's going to have the information you need to pay your departmental dues. So it's going to have the account you need to pay your departmental dues into and yet to pay them. You're most likely going to be told to pay in Unical Microfinance Bank. So you have to pay faculty dues. Faculty dues has its own stipulation related account, departmental dues has its own account, um, association dues has its own account, which you are to pay in Unical Microfinance Bank. And please be careful not to make mistake of paying this one into this one, okay, because the accounts actually look similar. Yes, the accounts look similar. 
To make things actually easier, I would advise you to pay your acceptance fee alongside with your departmental dues, like pay them on the same day just to save you of the stress of making payments in that bank because the stress is actually so much, especially when there are a lot of people there. But a lot of time, people like to pay acceptance fee first because there are times that during your screening, like your physical screening, you will not see your name in the admission list. You don't have to be afraid or anything. It's most likely that their list is not updated. So you just need to be patient. Like during my time, my name was not on the list the very first time I checked. A few days later, I went back and my name was like already there. All you need to do is just to keep going there to know if they've updated their admission list. Okay, that's all about departmental dues. Moving on, let's talk about payment of school fees. Once the portal for school fees is open, you guys will get to know about it to spread everywhere. And actually, you can pay your you can pay your school fees into any commercial bank. Actually, but it happens that there are times that you need to probably pay into first bank. So it's possible that your invoice is dedicated to um, first bank only, GT bank only, or you could pay in Echo Bank and other few commercial banks actually. So for you to get your invoice, all you need to do is go to database. I repeat, go to database. Database is in philosophy department. Philosophy department is around faculty of art, like behind behind faculty of art. So all you need to do is go there, pay an amount of money and they'll give you an invoice which um which has the breakdown of the amount you need to pay. Amount of school fees varies from department to department. Okay, just because you're in the same level does not mean you pay the same school fees. It varies from department to department. So once you get your invoice, you take it to the bank and voice expires yeah because there are times you will be told to pay make the payments in the next 24 hours and if at the end of the day you don't make that payment you will be told to pay another money to get another invoice but there are some times when you take it to the bank they still accept it like mine i was instructed to pay on a friday and i ended up paying on monday or there about for some reasons and i didn't have to like get another invoice so just make sure you get the invoice on that day you want to pay and i will always tell you go to the bank as early as 7 a.m make sure you're there because the crowd is always too stressful to navigate through and i will also advise you go to first bank the first bank at one time because they have lesser crowd there so once you pay your school fees you come back to verify if it was actually successful and then you take it to the e-library which they will yes for the verification you have to take it to the e-library and it will be signed and stamped you actually need to do that because during your matriculation for you to get your matriculation gown you will be taught to present your original results and your school fees um results that is stamped so your school fees um receipt that is stamped by the person in e-library e-library is around um at complex like opposite at complex we after making payment for your departmental dues, you'll be giving teller at the bank. So all you need to do is take that teller to your department. Your department will give you a receipt. So now make photocopies of that receipt and also make photocopies of that teller. And also you take your faculty dues to your faculty and then you'll be giving a receipt. Please make photocopies of this tellers of this receipt the teller cleans off easily so it is advisable you make photocopy and keep it otherwise you are going to be told to pay another amount if you can't provide a clear teller okay now let's talk so after you've paid your acceptance fee your departmental dues your school fees you've done your online screening your offline screening and everything has been approved the next thing you need to do is to submit all your documents to your department. It is very, very necessary. This part is really, really important because your department needs to have your details that really tell us that, okay, you are a bona fide student of this department. So now let me tell you how to go about this. At the end of this, um, putting all your documents together, in your notice board, like in your departmental notice board, there will be a list that that tells the document you need to submit and the document includes your birth certificate your um, work results your scratch card i repeat scratch card do not buy buy work pin because your department will not accept pin they need scratch card to confirm your result and your attestation letter and other documents which i am also going to specify 
in the description box so that you will have them you need to submit this document if you remember earlier i said that you need to get jack file that cost 200 naira per one so this is what you do in each of those three file you will put your birth certificate in one the second one you put another birth certificate in the third one you put another birth certificate so in the next one you repeat it again you put your work results if you're using work results you put your work results in the second one you put the third one the second the third work results all you just need is like to like repeat this process it's just you putting the same document in the files but arranging them accordingly is that clear like do you understand all i mean is you've made photocopies of each of your documents at least three copies so what you do is you put these photocopies in each of those jack file and arrange arrange them accordingly also you'll be told you need to buy this there's this pin which is used for holding documents so i think one cost 50 naira or thereabouts so you need like three and then when you go to submit this file the person in charge will use a perforator to make holes in your document and then you just insert the pin and then the pin is um used so that you don't hear story that touches the heart like they can't find this your documents they can't find this your documents and at the end you'll be told to pay either one five or two thousand naira for your departmental id card and also you need to present three passports yes you need to attach passport to each of this file and like i said you need a scratch card if it's neko result you're using please get a neko scratch card and not a neko pin and at the end of everything if they tell you okay your documents are complete you'll be giving course card i wish mine was here but i've showed you guys so you'll be giving court card so you just keep those course cards and anytime it is required of you you will present them so if you've done all these things i'll just say congratulations this is the very first step or these are the very actions first actions you need to take when you resume as a fresher in unical and before i forget let's talk about course registration like i said earlier you're going to be given a handbook and in that handbook you will know the courses that you're going to offer in your first and second semester so i advise you register those your departmental courses you can register it in your department or you can register it at database i registered mine in my department and i paid um one thousand naira to register i think in other places is either one thousand naira as well or 500 naira just make sure you register in a place that you can go back there if there is an issue okay you just need to be careful that is why it's always advisable to register them in your department now talking about general courses we have all general we have all core general courses that is gss it's very possible that when you're making registration for your departmental courses that gss portal will not be open so all you need to do is keep going to gss center to know if this portal is open for yourself gss center is in um, postgraduate school yes yeah, so you need to be going there to know if the portal is open and if the portal is open a student profile will be created for you which cost 200 naira and also you pay 500 naira for your invoice it is either you make that payment in their center if you're making the payment in their center it's going to cost you more instead of six thousand or something to cost you seven thousand something so it is advisable you go to the bank but if you have extra money just make the payment there like during my time i had to go to the bank to pay because i didn't have extra money to like um give those guys at um at gss center and also you need to uh, make payments for edc edc is only for second semester and not for first semester i will also encourage you that you register your first and second semester courses at the same time so that you know that you're free till you enter 200 level if you need information regarding anything you are allowed to ask me in the comment section and if you can reach me in my social media um platforms please do i'm always like open to um give you direction to assist in any way i can to so ask your questions if you need to be clear about anything please ask me i'll provide answers is that taking please give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe please subscribe 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 like 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 share to your colleagues please share to your colleagues and also watch out for my next video my next video i'm most likely going to be talking about accommodation in unical whether you want to stay off campus you want to stay in unical hostel or you want to stay in private hostels around 
University of Calabar. Do take care of yourself. I wish you a smooth registration process and I pray that God will keep you and direct you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, come your way. Bye.